what's going on y'all I'm back with another video uh, this video is kind of going to be like comparing the, my heritage to ancestry because uh, the last video um, you guys see me do the ancestry I showed you my ethnicity and stuff like that um, this one is kind of the same um, you, you get you know what I'm saying you can actually share your ancestry uh, results in your DNA with this website and then it analyze it for you what you will be able to do is you'll be able to share your DNA with this website and get your DNA matches for free but if you wanna um, get your ethnicity you have to pay um, you have to pay for that part but it's not as expensive as buying a whole DNA kit it gives you a discount so you'll be able to see it if you were to go that route and do it but what I'm gonna do is just break down for y'all basically the um, ethnicity portion and compare it to um, the ethnicity estimate I got from Ancestry and see how the numbers dif differentiate or kind of look the same you know so what we're gonna do right here is first we have I'm um, 39 well according to this 39.9 point 39.8% Nigerian um, and I think on Ancestry I put those up right there next to them it's 26 percent so it's kind of basically in the same same range um, <clears throat> so let's see if I click on Nigerian it says 39.8 percent I don't know why I'm doing that but uh, let's see so that is it's the largest population in Africa obviously um, it gives you a little bit of details about Nigeria as well, like Ancestry does too. Um, then let's see. Let's see, the next one that comes up is Kenyan. That's 10%. Um, that might have came up on Ancestry somewhere, but I didn't see Kenyan, so it might have fell under a different, like maybe it's in that uh, Nigeria percent, 26% Nigeria or 26% Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu people from Ancestry. Um, so that's 10.7, and then let's see the next, but that's still African descent. Um, another African descent that came up was Sierra, Sierra Leon, Leon, Leonin, that's 7.4%. Um, I didn't see that on Ancestry, so I'm guessing that's part of that 52% of, uh, Nigeria or Cameroon, Cameroon, Bantu people's percentage. Uh, let's see. And you got West African. Obviously, that's Africa. It explains that. Um, let's see. And then, like Ancestry, just gives you a little bit of breakdown about the geographical area and stuff like that. Let's see. The next one is Central. African, another part of African. Um, that's probably the largest segment of. So that's probably what the Bant, what the Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples comes up to. Because if you click read more right here, it says the largest segment of Central African populating belong to Bantu subgroup. So that's obviously what that other twenty six percent is for ancestry. But it's coming up 2.4 on here, so I'm guessing they kind of breaking it down a little more for the African um, population or subgroups, like they said. So it's kind of it's kind of amazing to see how the different breakdowns depend on the different testing facilities you use. If that makes sense. Um, let's see. The next one is going to be. Maasai or Mazi, and that's southern Kenya and northern Tanzania. So that's going to be somewhere in that region right there. And it also shows you a map over here if you guys can see that as well. Um, I don't see that one on Ancestry, so I'm guessing it's broken down into probably these tribes either in. Nigeria or Cameroon or maybe maybe that's the Mali, I don't know. Let's see. Let 
me and share, brother. Like I said, I'm 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 just kind of sharing with you guys the part I'm just not understanding. So I'm gonna definitely have to do a little bit of um researching this and reading up on this stuff to kind of figure out more of how it connects to this specific um, ethnicity as opposed to what ancestry showed me. So now this is what kind of stood out to me a little bit. So on the North and West European, it's at 20.3%. Um, maybe the different Scotland and Wales and stuff like that, maybe that broke down is probably that 20%. But as for right now, I don't see that. So it's a bigger, it's a bigger percentage than uh, what was on Ancestry. And that's what kind of stood out to me when I saw that as well. Um, so that's mostly Western, Western Europe, North and Western Europe. So, because over here it says England and Northwestern Europe on Ancestry is at 9%. So, trying to see how that 9 is 20 over here. Uh, let's see what else we got. And we got 8% Scandinavian, which is a northern part of Europe that includes Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. Um, so it says Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. Scandinavian, well, that that Northern Europe includes those. And Scandinavian people are share a common North Germanic heritage. So you would share that North Northern Germany um, and heritage as well. Okay, Mesoamerican and Andean. I've never heard that before, so indigenous pre-Columbian roots, Maya people of Mesoamerica and the uh, Quechua. I don't know how to say that. Um, it's just basically South American. But yeah, like this, this one and Scandinavian, I didn't see on um, on Ancestry, so that's a little bit, that's something that's a little bit different as well. So, um, let's see, let's see. So now, there's other, okay, so in Europe, they also have where they show the other regions and then I guess it shows you that percentage in that region but obviously if you see Europe is Northwestern North and Western Europe and Scandinavian that's the only percentage I have in the Europe region and then if you go down to America is obviously Mesoamerican and Indian there's two percent of that and then obviously there's none for Asian. In the Middle East, there's nothing as well. And then Oceania, there's nothing either. So basically when you see your results, it's gonna give you the 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 Africa, Europe, America, Asia continents, and then it's gonna break down those continents of uh, what you have in your genetics. Basically. And I'm not sure what the genetic groups are. Let's see. I'm going to click on that. Here you go. Okay. So I guess genetic groups just break down the genetic area where these genetics are. Like Alabama, number one. Southern and Northeastern Europe, USA, sorry, is number one. And then Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. I'm pretty sure the list just goes on. It just kind of breaks down probably where those genetic groups are in, across the world. So um, you definitely can, if you've done my heritage, you definitely can um, 
look into it and click on each segment and break it down and see how it affects you as well. So um, that's about it. You know, it's it's definitely um, a little bit amazing to see the different numbers and the different um, breakdowns on how different testing companies can pinpoint different uh, ethnicities or estimates in your DNA that you might not have seen over here and then when you get this one it'll, it'll show you over here so like I said it was just kind of me giving you guys a kind of like a compare and contrast as far as to what two different companies that do DNA ethnicity and DNA stuff like that can give you different results obviously and I'm not sure a lot of people know that anyways but it's just to see how they it's just fun to see how they differentiate and how they stand out amongst one another so if you've uh, done this or ancestry let me know in the comments down below um, if you want to see another video on this or ancestry and want me to give you more insight onto something and try to go in and break something down for you I, I'll do my best on that like I said just let me know and as always I'll be easy, man. Peace.